You know, it's pretty remarkable how just about nine months ago, the area across the street behind me was more or less a hole in the ground. Now it's the final stages of the Barclays Center, which by next fall will be the home of the to be rechristened Brooklyn Nets and part of a $4.9 billion building project here in Prospect Heights. The Atlantic Yards project, a third of which is located upon yards for Long Island Railroad stock, will include not only the arena, which is costing a billion dollars alone, but also 16 high rises, most of which will be condos. It has been protested and litigated for what seems like most of the past decade. Upon the project's announcement in 2003, it was criticized for its use of public domain, particularly the fact that Forest City Ratner, which is developing the area and owns the Nets, bought many of the buildings in the area, left them vacant, and declared the area as a case of urban blight, and the fact that it was taking public land for private use. Yet support for the plan was also gained because of the 30% of all condos being low or moderate income housing and stimulation of construction in the area. Ultimately, the project has reached a state of compromise. The developers are now ordered by the New York State Supreme Court to continue construction using the original 10-year schedule or conduct another environmental review. So the project, however stalled and bloated, continues. It's interesting to note the Barclays Center, which upon its completion will be the seventh NBA arena built in the past decade and among the top 10 ex most expensive stadia to be ever built, sits on an area that in some alternate universe could have been the first Dome Stadium to house the Brooklyn Dodgers. And a move most likely done to force the Dodgers move to Los Angeles, Walter O'Malley unveiled plans to build a 55,000 seat, completely symmetrical, Buckminster, Buckminster Fuller designed dome at the private cost of $6 billion. But Robert Moses didn't want to allow O'Malley the land, and O'Malley didn't want to move the Dodgers to land in Fleshy Meadows, which would incidentally become the home of the Mets.